my mother, again, she had to create some kind of ritual. Uh, she didn't want to say the Hebrew. She didn't know Hebrew. She didn't want to say the Hebrew. But she took the, just the English translation of the Hebrew, and we would just say it as quickly as possible. Uh, Blessed art thou, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who commanded us to kindle the lights of Hanukkah. And we'd like to get the Hanukkah candles. <laughs> so here we were saying the translation of a religious blessing with no feeling, with no belief, but it, it, was, it was our ritual, and that's what we, we would every night light the light the candles that way. And then we'd play a game of, of which candle would go at first. And so it was fun to figure out, to try and guess, and then watch the candles. And we love fire. Fire is so beautiful, and we would just like the fire. At Rosh Hashanah, New York City schools either were closed on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, um, or no Jews went. <laughs> so then I lived in a Jewish neighborhood, so there might be, out of 30 kids in my class, there might be three or four that actually were at school that day. But we stayed home. And uh, my mother would have us dress up to, out of respect for the neighbors who were going to synagogue. Uh, but I knew they were, I would kind of look at them like they were a little hypocritical because I knew they were only going to synagogue on that one day or two days, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur a, a year. It didn't occur to me that maybe I was a little hypocritical of here I am on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur not observing them, but I certainly didn't complain about not going to school. I didn't say, oh, on principle, I should go to school because I'm not religious and I'm not observing this holiday, but somehow that, that hypocrisy didn't, uh, didn't, didn't stick with me. Um, even though my father had left the religion, uh, Friday night he would turn on the radio. Um, Temple Emmanuel was the big uh, reform synagogue in New York, and they would broadcast Friday night services, and they had a very nice choir and, and sang uh, nice liturgical music. And my dad said it was always for the music. He didn't want to hear the service, but every Friday night we had uh, Temple Emmanuel on.